Right, right. <laughs> Here. Yes. So welcome to the webinar. Now, yeah, it's not really a webinar, just four people. And you know us, Michelle and Jenny. Here we are. We've been on plenty of Zoom calls. Let me do a little rhyme for you. Mute your mic and turn your camera on. Engage and chat. Raise your hand right on. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, my that, dang. That's worth the price of admission, I would say, I would think. All right. So it is indeed. We can do a very informal poll since there are two of you. And I am going to share some what I hope is useful homecoming information. And we obviously won't need breakout rooms, but we will share some ideas. And I have some questions that I want us to think through as we contemplate putting these in action in chapters. We'll share some in general best practices as well as some very specific best practices because we have had a number of chapters do some of these events. So now we don't have to start from scratch. We're seeing and hearing all kinds of success stories. And then if you have questions or we do have some really great ideas and brain blasts today, then we can discuss them. So we have come up with this idea of homecoming because it fits into the mission of BNI, part of which is to help our members increase their business. And this part doesn't matter whether we're a franchise region or a company owned region. We are all trying to do this together. And we know how successful this BNI system is. That's why we, it is part of our careers that we're working on. And so this fits into that. We're hoping to increase our members' businesses by having these unusual and special fun events. So let's start with a poll. Let me find out where you guys are, although this is kind of a funny thing to do a poll with just two of you. But let's just see. We'll launch the poll. What homecoming experiences have your chapters had? And you can tell me if you guys have had any. I know, Andrea, you're looking at a whole region. Right. Now, uh, when you talk about homecoming events, mm -hmm. are you talking about going back live? Or are you talking about things that they've done outside? Of That's a great region? question. We have designed the homecoming events to be something that for this quarter, for the fourth quarter of the year, that can be used in chapters who have decided to go back in person because that's a, that's a fun thing to celebrate. But it's also designed to be used for this season, even if chapters are staying online so that they could have a special event. And I'll show you, like you can see my background here, Andrea. I've got mm -hmm. several different backgrounds you can use for kind of this football homecoming theme. One of the, the, the backgrounds I found was a, um, a high school, uh, a middle school dance. And it's like a bunch of kids just dancing awkwardly, like a homecoming dance. So there are a lot of fun things that chapters can do online as well as in person. So we're gonna try to cover both of them, but the homecoming umbrella is really for anybody doing a fall or winter event. And specifically, we can reach out to alumni since we know, like I think you got a list maybe from Julia Loomer and Janine, you could reach right. out to your former members to say, hey, why don't you come back? We're having a special event. And, and so the that answer is we have not done anything. Uh, okay. So. Okay. Does that include visitors day? Well, if it was specifically Doesn't anything to do with homecoming, then yes. If it's just a regular visitor day like we've always had, I don't know that that really makes any difference here. So have has any of your chapters done anything with homecoming, Gailey? No. Okay. They, we've had visitor days, but I don't think they were specific for the homecoming. Okay. In fact, Kent Network had just had one last week. Okay. And okay. my own chapter had it last week. Right. And I think a lot of the chapters can do similar things that they've done for visitor days if they want to do a homecoming event. What we're hoping to do is just give it a little twist because we know a lot of times chapters are just tired of hearing us say, you should have a visitor day, you should have a visitor day. So this was a way of injecting a little bit of innovation into it. So what we are trying to create is because on the calendar in many places in the year, and I'm, realize, I'm realizing in the Northeast, this is just not a thing. Like I talked to uh, our Pennsylvania managing director recently. I've talked to somebody in Massachusetts and they're like, yeah, homecoming is just not a thing for us. But in the Midwest where I'm from, and I don't know how it is on the West Coast, 
but it is a big deal that everybody comes to the homecoming game and it's a big football day and you have a homecoming court and you have a homecoming dance, parents come and the community gets involved and you have a parade, it's a really big deal. So- It's more in the Midwest, Jenny, uh, uh, because uh, I'm from the Midwest, I'm from Oklahoma. Okay. And I could not understand when my kids got into school why there wasn't homecoming things in Southern California. No, you know. Okay. Uh, and I'm not saying that they don't do it, but uh, it's not like you. Where are you from? Indiana. Okay, so it's not like what we experienced there yeah. at all. Okay, all right. And apparently, it's a big deal in Texas. So, did you have the big mums in Oklahoma? Like the big, you would wear the the big uh, corsages with the mums and you'd add all kinds of ribbons and different things that become humongous. Yeah, it wasn't mums, but it was yeah. uh, ribbons and, you know. Yeah, yeah, it was know, a big the, deal. The queen and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, exactly. And it, it might be a uniquely American thing, Gailey. I don't know that, it, what do they do an equivalent in Germany? No, no, no they don't. We just, yeah, but we just I, I, ex I experienced it quite a bit when I was living on the East Coast. Uh, oh. Navy, in particular, does okay. a huge event oh, yeah. for homecoming. Yeah, yeah. And okay. we did have the big mums and all yeah. that. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. it was a really big event. And the, okay. the little school here in Auburn, or actually Enumclaw, they had quite a homecoming with the parade and the dance yeah. and okay. the whole thing yeah. for, the, yeah. for the high school. Yeah, they did. And, yeah, so and we're it was hoping... Awesome to kind of capitalize on that high school or college feeling of everybody come back, remember what a great time we had here. We've got these certificates of credit. We've got people in the community who don't even know we exist. So we were hoping that this would be not just a visitor day to invite people to come join your chapter, but a visitor day to let your community know that these chapters exist, these businesses exist, and we want to partner with you to make our community better. We're celebrating what we've achieved together. Our members have supported each other. We hear stories on all the calls that we're on every week about how members are helping each other. And we want our communities where we live and work to know that, that those are the things that are happening. So we have seen, and we are suggesting for chapters that they do things like dress for the occasion. Uh, on, I don't know, Andrea, if you were on the all-in calls on Mondays, you see me with my letter jacket and the pom-poms. And we've seen some chapters who do that and they dress up for that and it's a lot of fun. Uh, we can use our notable networkers and turn them into a homecoming court. And I'll show you some pictures of chapters that have done that. Another, uh, a couple of chapters got together and had their event and they had an outdoor event and they did a tailgating event, which was looked like a lot of fun. Uh, and we also have ideas for giveaways and all kinds of things that I will show you in just a little while. First, I wanna show you the things that are available for your chapters, and then I can show you how some of the chapters have implemented those. So instead of the way we invite on a visitor day that we say things like, um, bring people who are represent open categories in your chapters, and the focus is on, we wanna increase membership, increase membership. This focus is a little different in that we aren't focusing so much on only people who could join the chapter. If this were at a different time of year, I know some groups did theirs back in August, maybe school wasn't in session yet, inviting teachers or maybe city councilmen or the mayor, chamber of commerce people, first responders. And certainly we wanna take advantage of those lists of the BNI alumni certificates of credit because they can come back at no obligation money-wise and until their certificate of credit runs out. But this group of people we're inviting is a little bit different in that we just want to make them aware of what our businesses are doing. Also for first responders coming into this, you know, halfway through the second year of a global pandemic, what a great time to say invite all the firefighters or nurses or police officers you have. And let's thank our first responders so they know the businesses that are in town. Um, I just keep thinking of all the connections that we can make between 15, 20, 50 people in a BNI chapter and all of the people around them in whatever city they meet so that we, everybody, you can imagine maybe a, an EMT driver coming to a meeting and going, I did not know there was a chiropractor right here in town. I always need a chiropractor from bumpy ambulance rides. You know, those kinds of things that could mean business for our members as well, even though these people can't join and they may know people who can join. 
So we're opening up that list that we're usually very focused on. So we have created an email template if you'd like to send some emails or print it out and send letters like we used to do back in the day when we had our 40 letter campaign and we'd put them in envelopes and put them in the mail. So, <clears throat> excuse me, whether you choose to email or do snail mail, you can take this, customize the parts that are in yellow and make it obviously okay for whatever chapter you're doing. And if you have an in-person meeting, that's where you'd put this. If you have still online meetings, you can put the Zoom link here. And once people register for your event, BNI Connect is getting better and better at sending automated emails that have all the information, but it's also a great opportunity to have a phone call just to make sure everybody got the information they need. We also have a telephone script and you could choose to have like a, I always think of those Jerry Lewis telephones where they had all the people answering the phones and you might all get together and say for half an hour, we're all gonna make phone calls. Let's all meet at so-and-so's office or everybody get on Zoom and mute yourselves and make your phone calls. But we have a script so you don't have to start from scratch on that either. We also have a document that you can use for your chapter leaders to explain to them what this event might be and help them get started getting ideas. You can see some of those ideas at the bottom. Unlike past extravaganza events or other events that we have had, this is not a formula that we're giving to chapters to say, do it this way. We want all the elements to be available to them so the chapter can decide if they want a little bit of the theme or if they wanna blow out the theme or some chapters are choosing not to do homecoming at all. Maybe if it's not a big deal in Southern California, Andrea, your chapters want to have a, a grand reopening event and they, it could be much more business focused and, and we can work with some people to get different graphics for you for that. We have a word document homecoming agenda so that you can change it according to when your chapter meets. We know not all chapters meet at 730 in the morning, but this was uh, just to start so that you could figure out your agenda. This is a suggested agenda. Again, just to give kind of a, a buffet for the chapters to choose. And you may choose, Andrea, in your region to say, all my chapters will do thus. Or you may choose to roll out lots of things and you and Red can say, here are all the elements. Let's work with each of our chapters to determine what works best for them. I love that idea. I know some people want a little bit more structure. So for the chapters who say, just tell us what to do, you can have at that too. That's I, I like that. I'd love telling people what to do. We've got some social media that you can use for your chapters or your regions, Facebook or Instagram. These are all of these things are available in BNI Business Builder, but I will also be happy to send both of you an email after this and I'll just send you the attachments so you don't even have to go to BNI Business Builder if you'd rather not. Because I think sometimes I would yes, rather. That not. would be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's, it can be that a labyrinth. Be awesome. Uh, yeah. And finding things sometimes, you know, I love business builders, but I'll tell you what, it is a pain a lot of times. Yeah, I know. And Jeremy Walsh is doing his B&I best, but I, I think know it's, he it's is. a lot to fix. Yeah. We also created a B&I game so that a chapter could break into teams, or if you chose you could have multiple chapters do it leading up to a joint event, which is what one of the groups did in North Carolina. They had a couple of chapters come together. So if you think about a homecoming rivalry, you might have two chapters in the same town, maybe the red team and the gray team or something, and um, they would have points or some, some version of this. But you can see it's all themed on football. So even the scoring is football themed and uh, the chapter could use this maybe in the weeks leading up to it to announce results at the event when they have visitors there. We also have a whole slide deck that your chapters can use. You can see everything goes with this theme so that you can put your notable networkers up here as your homecoming court um, instead of using TY FCB, you could say this is for the most business generated because those terms are much more familiar to non-BNI members. So we've put those kinds of things in here as a little hint if you wanted to change it up. We also put a whole feature presentation in this slide deck with the script underneath it that goes with the slides that you can personalize. So you can say this is the story of how we succeeded anyway in the movers and shakers chapter, for example. 
during a global pandemic. And then here are some of the topics that you might talk about, including some stories that I knew about, but wouldn't even have to use those. You could use those or and or you could add from your own region, which I think is even more powerful to instead of saying, here's what someone who does nails in Fort Collins, Colorado did, you could say, here's what somebody did in Ventura County in this particular chapter, and he's sitting right here. But it just gives you some ideas of how things happened. And we have this lovely graphic to show as part of the feature presentation. I just pulled out a few slides, but this is part of the feature presentation so that your visitors who might be in these categories can start thinking about the people in the room they could do business with. So if you, even if you have a first responder in here and you go, oh, you've got people who are in here who are other doctors? Oh, people who are pharmacists? I need an electrician for my house. They can start to look around the room or look on the screen and start to make some connections with people and use your members' businesses themselves. And this is something that Michelle was super, super helpful in creating. It is a timeline for doing any kind of an event. So whether you use it for homecoming or a traditional visitor day or some special event that you're having, it has kind of redundancy built into it so that at four weeks out, you're doing the thing, but then you're being reminded two weeks out, did you do the thing? And it goes all the way up to an hour to 30 minutes before the event, what's happening during the event and follow-up suggestions. So I, I was thinking, how can we make this easy as a director or now Gailey, a coach <laughs> to go into a chapter and help the leadership team do what they need to do to make their chapter event successful. You can give them this list to go, all right, let me just ask you, did we get, I know you wanted to do prizes for this thing. Did somebody buy them? It's the day before the event. Do you have them? Are we ready to do it? <clears throat> On a call I was on several weeks ago, um, one of our directors in Colorado was telling us about how he gave an award to somebody on Zoom. And he had, it was one of those member pins of how many years you've been a member. And he had arranged to give her the pin before the, the meeting online. So that during it, he said, I just wanna show everybody and had the little red velvet box we are going to give this very special gift to so-and-so. And then he went like this and then she had it before and she went like this and she, she said, oh, thank you. And then she opened it like he had really passed it through the computer to her. And it was a lot of fun. Everybody knew exactly what had happened but it was kind of an illusion. <clears throat> so there are still fun ways that we can do these events even if we're online by doing those kinds of things. Here's a certificate and the other person can go, oh, thank you very much because <laughs> they got it ahead of time. So ways that we can be clever about that. But whether you're in person or online, this is a handy checklist to go, okay, we're starting in 30 minutes. Do you have what you need? Do you have, are you going to share your screen? You know, doing all those things ahead of time, a checklist I think is pretty helpful. Definitely so. <clears throat> okay, so those are the things we have and I'm going to show you some pictures, but before I do, do either of you have any questions about the, um, the materials that are available to you? I think it's awesome, personally. I never get and here tired again. Of that's why time. I love B&I, because I don't have to think. You, you've got it laid out there. And like you said, changing it to the grand reopening event, uh, you know, um, and uh, doing, you know, because we've got, one chapter that will be um, that has gone back to live. Um, they went back live for two weeks and had to shut back down because uh, California shut us down. Oh, yeah. And but they've come back now again. Uh, and we've got another chapter that will be going. Uh, they're hybrid right now, but uh, will be going live, uh, so to speak, in January. And I'm thinking okay. this would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, and, and you can customize it and use it whatever time of year. I rolled this out back in July or August thinking we could take advantage of the football season. Exactly. What I'm really hoping is we'll be able to work out all the kinks now and next June, we'll be able to tell everybody, here's what you can do in August and September before your leadership teams change. 
but we needed well, to. Well, what I just, you just gave me an idea and I'm, I'm thinking uh, after football season, now I know a lot of people do basketball, so you could probably do, you know, something for basketball, but spring training for baseball. Yeah, yeah. See, you said you didn't have ideas. <laughs> well, but see, you spurred it. And that's where I love these kind of trainings or coaching or whatever it is, because you you plant seeds and uh, that's where I come from. And Great. Michelle Klein, I think I figured it out. Were you with uh, Georgievich's region? Uh, yes, that was me. <laughs> that was you. And I, because I did all of those original uh, visitor uh, membership mm -hmm. extravaganza things from what, 10, 12 years ago? Yeah, I've been around forever. So yeah, yeah that's me. <laughs> okay. That I, I, and you know, hey, I'm slow. That's why I was always a secretary to attorney, not the attorney, because I don't think on my feet that fast. <laughs> anyway, well, enough well, about me. You, you awesome. can call me Jenny Appleseed. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so these are a couple of chapters, I believe in the Missouri, Arkansas region. And you can see one of the ideas they had is to take everybody's high school yearbook photo and put it up there around the room so the visitors could see the current members as they were back in high school. And I don't know what the cartoon one is, I have a question about that. Uh, but they also have uh, two different chapters did their version of their homecoming court with a crown and the one that has a sash as the BNI queen for whatever the notable network or category is that you choose. Maybe they gave the most money, maybe they gave the most referrals, whatever. Um, but the football jerseys, I think, were a lot of fun to kind of dress for the theme. And then this is actually a director meeting. This was back in August. One of our directors, our managing director in Florida, put together her team meeting as a homecoming event. You can see she decorated the tables with the BNI colors. She had crowns for her top achievers and they did it in a high school gym. So they had it as if it were uh, a homecoming event and they had a lot of fun. And she, her thought was, let me do it for my directors. They can all see how this goes. Now, when they play out in their chapters, they've already seen it in action. I think that was a really smart thing for her to do. Very. This chapter in Texas is about 18 or 19 people. They had 17 visitors at their event and they had high school cheerleaders come stand by the door as people came in and they were greeting them. And they talked to the local TV station and they got coverage on, and the storyline was, this is how local businesses have thrived during a global pandemic. So they took advantage of all the things that were already happening. Um, and I think I said this on the last call that I was on. I can tell you that the deaths have been confirmed has nothing to do with BNI. and <laughs> The vandalizing and stealing school property were not part of this event. <laughs> it was a very, very bad day. <laughs> Um, but anyway, this chapter I happen to know from this event got 10 applications that day. They had, seven, they had as many visitors as they had members and 10 of those 17 or so visitors actually filled out an application. So we're wow. still waiting to hear how many of those people became members. But this director went, this is our managing director in Texas, and she went and, and gave the presentation. I don't know if you can see the slides, but she was using the slides in the presentation that I just showed you. And I would say by all counts, this was a very successful event. And then this, I just got this week. This was in North Carolina. They had two chapters come together. And at first I looked at this picture on the right and I thought, oh, I wonder if they did a, such an early morning event. And that's why the light is kind of at this angle. And then they told me they actually did a social after hours event. So it wasn't during their chapter meeting time at all. They had two chapters come together and they used social media and email and phone calls and both chapters invited people from the area because they're both in the area and they had gift bags and all kinds of things, all kinds of decorations for their, um, for their visitors. And I don't know how many members came, but I do know that they offered 
a $100 prize to the person who invited the most visitors who showed up. So that was one of their ways of incentivizing their members. And from this event, they have three applications. Wow. So they're bringing in the numbers and they're being creative about how they're having it. So whether it's their actual meeting time or after hours, you could do tailgating. I was in my mind picturing the whole time having everybody's uh, cars pulled with their backs together. Our church had a trunk or treat party and all the trunks were open. Everybody kind of gathered in this big grassy field. I think you could barbecue. It could be a, a lot of fun to do a tailgating homecoming event and make it festive and invite people because who doesn't want to come to something fun like that? So they have three, this other chapter had 17. So they are getting applications from these, which fits into the mission that we are doing everything we can to help our members increase their business. So if you have questions or any more brilliant ideas, Andrea, let us know what those are because I'm so, so glad that we've had chapters doing this and they're reporting back to me and sending pictures so we can share their ideas. And the successes that they're having mm -hmm. when, yeah. when having fun. Yep. And that's, you know. Mm -hmm. I agree exactly, Andrea. It is, it's they're, they got a common goal, but they're enjoying each other's company and having fun with it, which makes all the difference. Yep. Yeah. And my mind is working on the fact that um, of maybe making, I like the idea of this social event because most of our chapters, because they're all online, are doing um, evening events and social okay. events. Yeah. One of, one of them went to a brewery and um, had a, uh, you know, they carpooled because it was a little bit away from, you know, um, and uh, supported, uh, actually it was out in the uh, core region and Santa Clarita uh, mm -hmm. because the, they, uh, one of our members invited the owner uh, oh. to one of the meetings. And so uh, even though it didn't turn out that he felt it was a good fit at this time, at least we, we supported him. Yeah. And, uh, went out there and they had a great time. I didn't get to do it, but uh, the reports has been phenomenal. You know, it was just something yeah. a little bit different, like you said. Yes. Yes. And I love that idea of the tailgating party because uh, um, I'm part of a Corvette club and we do the trunk or treat every yes. year. Yes. And um, that's a great idea for, uh, for tailgating uh, yeah. social. Yeah. And you've got the weather. You could do it a lot of the year. <laughs> yes. yes. Not so much in Michigan or Washington. <laughs> No, <laughs> no tailgating in the winter in the rain. What part there's, of Washington are, are you in? I'm sorry, Andrea. What part of Washington are you in? Uh, I am in Western Washington, just a little bit east of Seattle. Oh, okay. It's like a 15 or 20 minute drive. I've got a stepdaughter and, see, and grandson in Seattle and a uh, large family uh, in uh, Coeur d'Alene. So oh, on, the, on both sides of the state. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things that you might think about talking to your chapters about is what they would want to celebrate or highlight with their visitors, because that's a different approach from what we usually talk about with a visitor event. We talk about bringing people in so we can showcase our businesses and we want them to join. And yes, that is a big part of this. At the same time, because of the season and because we're trying to make things a little bit different, one of the emphasis could be, what are we celebrating? Let's talk about the fact that you doubled your business, or let's talk about the fact that you supported this person. Let's talk about some crazy stories of connections that were made, ways that we changed our businesses so that just the people there are saying, wow, this is a really amazing and extraordinary group of people. And then that will kind of get the word of mouth out into the community. And the next time there's an event or the next time they do a BNI Foundation event, anytime they're present in the community or the business is present in the community, that will be goodwill and probably traction for business in the future. So I'm encouraging people to think about what would they celebrate? Like we doubled our members or we didn't even exist before COVID. A lot of chapters never even, I mean, we, we, I think we have 30 plus percent of our members who have never met in person 
because they came since March of 2020. They've only ever met online. Who knew we would be doing this? Crazy, huh? Okay, well, do you have any questions? Do you have any more ideas? Gailey, is your mind going crazy on how you're gonna do these in your chapters? But yeah, that I'm trying to see because I was just talking about that the other day and they said, well, what do you, what do you mean homecoming? I so I'm I've been busy writing everything down so I can talk to them about it and okay. see uh, one of the events that my chapter did, which was kind of a more of a building relationship kind of thing, but I think it could probably be used in something like that too. Was uh, we did an evening event of uh, paint and sip, mm. where we all went to the studio and we painted yeah. together. And yeah. it was at Halloween time last year. And we had an absolute wonderful time and a nice camaraderie that, that yeah. formed among some of the newer members. So it was a really fun thing. So, you know, thinking of those kind of events yeah. that we yeah. can somehow work in there too. Yeah, it doesn't- The weather doesn't, isn't really cooperating to do anything outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't have to be a Wednesday lunch thing or a yeah. Tuesday at 7.30 in the morning. It could be, um, could be creative. And I like the idea of having multiple chapters do an event together because then you fill in the gaps where one chapter might not have a category filled, but a neighboring chapter does. And then you just have doubled your network. Right. I love that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. This was so worthwhile. Thank you so much. Um, Oh, I'm glad to, uh, to opening up to all of us to uh, partake. Oh, really good. Appreciate it. I'm glad. Yeah, if we're going to create this stuff, we, and we think it's going to work. We'll uh, we'll offer it to the core and to the franchises. Uh, it's the stuff we don't know if it's going to work. We'll keep in the test kitchen a little bit longer, <laughs> and then we'll roll it out to you later. <laughs> well, so you, you know, will, you will I send mean, us all the slides. I will. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have yeah. a very blessed rest of the day and upcoming weekend. Well, hold on one second, Andrea. I oh. want, before you leave, I want to make sure you know that next month, you know, I had we had these planned once a month starting in September, mm -hmm. just so we could let everybody okay. know. Some people come on several, some have just on one. Um, but the the one that's on December 2nd, we're going to change it up a little bit since homecoming will be more in the rear view mirror than through the windshield. What we'd like to do is, and I'll probably be on one of the all-in calls and I'll talk to Harmony about it for the core chapters, is we would love to have an event with all of the chapter success coaches and directors from all of the regions come on and tell us what worked in the fourth quarter. What has been happening October, November, and December that is getting more members? What's good? Let's share some more ideas. And so I'll, um, I'll also put the link to register for that one. So you can come and share your ideas, maybe bring red, bring some of your directors or some, you know, members or whatever. Right. Um, and we'll just all talk about what is working and we'll celebrate together. Awesome. I put it down. Okay. Yay. Excellent. All right. Well, you guys will both get a short little survey because now I know how to do that. So as soon as you get off this call, you should get a little survey. I would love it. Since there are only two of you, I'll know if you don't do it. <laughs> Boy. No pressure. <laughs> pressure on. I don't show. <laughs> it's short though. Well, I do miss questions. working with you directly, Jenny. I know. I do I know. miss working with you directly. I know. I miss working was with awesome. people directly too. Yeah. It's fun. Okay. Well then thank you very much. And um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll send you an email with the slides and the link for December. Okay. Thank you so much. Right. Appreciate it. Good yeah. seeing you again, Michelle. You. Glad I uh, remember you. where it was. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Have a great Bye. day. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Bye.